Hey there, I got these old CD-ROMs. I thought we'd take a look. Um, this one I bought myself, so this one is, isn't really included. I, I picked this up off of eBay for five bucks uh, because there's some potential for play by email over on the Discord. So if you have any interest in that kind of thing, I'll put a link to the Discord down in the um, uh, down in the description. So let's get this out of the way. This is all from my father-in-law's office. He was cleaning out his old things. He's got stuff in there for from a very very long time. And uh, he, anything that looked like a game, he dumped in this box. And there's a lot of filler, but there were also a couple of gems. Um, this one in particular, I'm kind of excited about, Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit. So th he's got a couple of these games in here that, that's, that are, uh, uh, say, 3D FX. I know Gateway, back in the 90s, um, what they would package desktop computers with 3D FX games. Um, so that's one. I'm kind of excited about that. This one I'm really excited about. I think I have this already somewhere, but this is Unreal. Also 3D FX. We had a gateway in the 90s and it came packaged with this game. To be clear, this is the original Unreal, not Unreal Gold. So the menu and stuff is a little different. That might be fun to install and check out. Um, but here's the big thing. No, not this, although this is cool too. SimCity 2000. Now, I don't think this is like the, the final version of SimCity 2000, right? Because uh, at the end of its like CD-ROM run, you could get it and it would have like the Urban Renewal Kit in it and a, a, a couple other things. I think this might, might be an older, more vanilla edition. See if you've got at the bottom, not to be sold separately, Special Media Vision Bundle Edition. I want to see what's on here. Um, so that's really cool. But this is what I'm really excited about. This is Civilization 2. Okay. Now I have Civilization 2, uh, um, the multiplayer gold edition. But here again, this is definitely an older version. And it's unopened. Which kills me because knowing my father in law, he probably threw out the big box like just a week ago. <laughs> so yeah, I'm interested to see what's on here. Love Civ 2. It's good. It's good. Civ 3 will always be my favorite Civ, but uh, I do enjoy Civ 2. This was, this was my introduction to the Civilization series. This was the game I learned to play Civ on. Alright, now we go into the unknown. This is X, uh, Expendable from Rage Software. Um, okay. I'm not familiar with them. When I first looked at this, I thought it was going to be like a commercial Doom mod. You know, like one of those smaller FPS things. Uh, but looking at the screenshots, no, that doesn't seem to be the case. And it makes sense, because my father-in-law has always been into flight simulators and stuff. He's a big uh, classic fan of, of uh, Ace Combat and Microsoft, the old Microsoft flight simulators. And then we get into the, the weird stuff. This is pretty cool. This is a, uh, um, a, a pack of games for uh, Palm Pilots. Palm OS games. Pretty simple ones. Um, but I remember they had one of these old devices, and when they grew out of it, um, they gave it to me because I was interested in old tech. And I got Rogue working on it, and it worked for about a week, and it finally broke. This might be fun to see how much an old uh, Palm Pilot, or whatever these were called, goes for on eBay. It might be fun to tinker with one again. Um, let's see. What else have we got here? Internet info... Those might make a fun video. Games. <laughs> what could be on games? I'm, I'm interested to find out. Um, this one. Oh, I hate to do this to a disc. But here we go. Star Trek Ship Creator. And there was another Deep Space Nine era Star Trek game in here as well. Don't dream it. Build it. Warp 2. Uh, Jet Fighter for Palm OS. I didn't notice that. Oh, man. <laughs> now I have to get a Palm Pilot. Encarta. That'll be hilarious. Uh, Grawlier Multimedia Encyclopedia. I never heard of this one. So, like, an Encarta, another Encarta. Um, knockoff or competitor or something. Atlantis. Search for the journal. Disney Interactive... From Kellogg's. Okay. I'm down. We've got Voodoo 3 drivers. Yes, definitely. Somebody who owned a gateway computer at some point. 
Um, I miss when when uh, um, magazines used to do this, particularly uh, what was it? PC Gamer had a really good one where they packaged a bunch of stuff into a CD-ROM. <sighs> Test Drive. <laughs> Windows Fall 1993. 1993. Is this the original Test Drive? Wow. Cheat Cheats. Got an exam. Didn't read the book. Buy the CD-ROM. Pre-Wikipedia. And there's another one. What else have we got? Uh, Infopedia 2.0. He liked his uh, his encyclopedias. Bookshelf 95. The new way to look it up. Mm, Collier's Encyclopedia 98. Okay. I can't even tell if this is like... This looks more like a network tool. Alright. Uh, another encyclopedia. Warbirds, Art and Science of Military Aviation. A complete drawing program. Carta. Home Medical Advisor. No way! No way! I didn't see this in there. Space Quest 4. Wow, I've never held an authentic, like, not, uh, I've never held a physical copy of the original, like, Space Quest 4. Um, not until later when they put it, put it out in, like, a CD-ROM collection. That's awesome. Another encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Okay, I think this is the Deep Space Nine thing. He had, like, a system disc in a paper envelope, and I got rid of the system disc so I could, yeah, we got Dominion Wars. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Look at that. Enhance your gameplay with GameSpy. <sighs> and I think that's everything. And this is a bunch of uh, Movie X1 Plus. I know the way I'm treating these CDs would make me from 10 years ago really upset. More encyclopedias. Even more encyclopedias, bro. And that's it. Uh, really excited about Civ 2. Um, really excited about um, Need for Speed 3. And even though I have it on Steam, I'm excited about uh, um, <laughs> Space Quest 4. And, and also, games.